And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Turbo Thralls. It's going to be our next donation deck. This is going to be a deck that we are going to be getting the Frozen Thralls in play and starting that countdown and getting that countdown to go as fast as possible. Usually countdown eight means you got to wait eight rounds, but that's not going to be the case in our deck. We are going to be uh, speeding that up. We're going to have cards like Time in the Bottle that advance. Clockwork Curator, Advanced 2, Advanced 2. Uh, we're also going to have Preservationist, Advanced 3. And then finally at the top end, we're going to have these Clock Hands that create the, in, the Instant Centuries that can Advance 4. Also, of course, we're going to be Drac having Draclorn Inquisitor. So all we have to do is advance it from 8 to 4. And then once it's at 4 or less, our Draclorn Inquisitor will just um, immediately pop them. And so hopefully we can get a good amount of 8-8 eight, eight Overwhelms in play. That's going to be the goal of our deck. Once we got two, eight, eight, two of the 8-mana eight 8-8s, eight then our Lissandra levels up. Once we got four of them, then we can have the uh, levels up creates the Watcher. Once we have four of them, then our Watcher will cost zero. We'll be able to get this thing in play. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what our deck's all about. So it's Turbo Thralls. Let's get these Thralls out there and let's... Let's uh, speed up that clock down with advance. All right, we're going to go ahead and go play our five games in ranked with Turbo Thralls. We're playing against Shivana. All right, so we need to find a Frozen Thrall. That's definitely going to be the most important card for us to find. I'm going to go ahead and mulligan all of these. Alright, not a very good looking hand. Sure is dark, eh? Still not a very good looking hand. So this is going to be... This is definitely going to be big Scythria and Spectral Matron, especially having Oblivious Islander. Alright, Lissandra, right on time. Because otherwise, if we didn't, if that Lissandra didn't show up, then I was just going to have to like play this Succumb to the Gold just to get a Frozen Thrall in play. Oh, that was not going to be good. So, thank you, Lissandra, showing up on time. The cold in. I appreciate it. So they got tons of stuff going on over there. They've, they've cast a bunch of Stalking Shadows. This, They're going to start going crazy. Dragon blood, Demacian heart. Suffer my fury. Okay, I'll just go ahead and take that. Unfortunately, this is play advance. It's not... Um, okay, so this is three this round. Next round, it's another three, and then we do one. So let's actually... I guess it actually makes more sense to advance this one. Because otherwise, we just waste a round. Death begins your forever Remember the fallen. See now it's it's still at three for our other for our other preservationist. Oh, hello there. I can hourglass the eight eight, have it come back into play. That that'd be resummoning for leveling up Lissandra. Another countdown started. Hey, what's that? You would test my steel. 
That's all right. What's up, Xeno JPEG? Thanks for joining in. All right, so it's it's gonna be Cythria this next round, or I guess it's I guess so. I guess it's double Cythria, Cythria this round and next round. So I should have saved this to come to the cold. They kind of did this incorrectly. Like, it would have made more sense to play the regular one last round, and then play the... Like, play the regular one last round, then they would have had, like, this one be a 12-12, and then play the ephemeral one this round, and now the regular one's a 24-24, and then you also get to attack with the ephemeral. Like, they just had their ephemeral... They just threw away their ephemeral for no reason. They could have had this be a 24-24 and had the ephemeral also. This is gonna be fun. Do not embarrass me, troll. Right, so the previous spectral was ephemeral, so they... Oh, I guess... Oh, I guess that's that's why... That one cost six, because it was ephemeral, so they had to do it this way. Okay, never mind, right, right, because it, it wasn't... They couldn't... They couldn't play this one last time. Also, that's right. Um... All right, so hoping no more fight spells. Hoping they just have just a bunch more units over there. We know their hand does have quite a bit of units with the different stalking shadows they've been playing. I don't get both of these thralls out. One countdown away from getting both of them out. Alright, so not dead. Of course, they're going to be able to hard cast the three again next round. Yeah, I guess they, they went bigger than 8-8s. Eight eight. Attack with the 8 8 overwhelm because uh, Shivana was bigger.
Our watcher died. It got it got fight spelled by something bigger because of the Sithrias. It's their fourth Sithria, as you can tell by a 58-34 unit. But that's still not gonna be good enough for them. I'm surprised they just tapped out for Scythria here, because obviously I can just challenge right there, and then they can't they can't block all three things. Because they just wanted to play more Scythrias. Alright, we are 1-0. Alright, Zoe, Shivana, and Aurelian Soul. So Back to another dragon deck. We got Frozen Thrall, Curator, Lissandra, that looks great. Love Clock Hand, but I think that I mulligan it just because it costs eight, and I, so I probably shouldn't just keep it in the opener. Maybe we find another advanced card that's pretty nice. So do we... Do all of the advance cards on the same one? Another day guarding the walls. Or like if I put in the other thrall this next round, do we start advancing the new one also try to get them both in play? Never again will we fall to dragon fire. Secrets. I know they can use a Combat spell and kill Lissandra. That's how that's how it is. I'm getting this frozen thrall in play. I kind of want to start countdowning the other one, so I can yeah, because I can I can do both countdown cards right now and just get an eight eight right now. So, so do you think that's the way to go? Is just go get an eight eight right now? And maybe forever until we get an, an additional 8-8. Eight, eight. Alright, we'll do that. Yeah, I'll take Trundle. Still an 8 8. So I put the 8 8 first because I thought they, that they would want to block it with the lifesteal. But so they only heal their nexus for 2 instead of 3. Neither sharp sight nor single combat save that. But single combat does do that. This only does the three rounds. Not quite enough. Not close. Gosh, stop having those. 
Alright, does Trollchan save this? Trollchan gives 5 health, 5 power. Yes, it does. Because the tough. Noctis Frost, what's up? Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. You are amazing. Thank you very much. Let's get some hype in the chat. Have <laughs> play the new cards will... No, this deck's not... This is not one... Our opponent's deck's a lot better than our deck, but we're... Um, yeah, trying out the new stuff, which is pretty fun with these predicts and everything. All right, we do did create a Watcher. But unfortunately, they did have a Rillian Soul. It's tough for me to play Ice Pillar right now, because then they just get to a free attack on the Ice Pillar. They think themselves cultured. <laughs> Even though it levels up Trundle. Like, obviously, if I pass, they pass. Um... I can just play the Preservarium instead. But even, like, next round, like, playing the Ice Pillar before combat next round. I mean, I guess I just have to, just to level up. I Yeah, I guess I just have to. They just get a free kill. Because I don't really want to do it next round before combat and allow them to play another blocker. The only reason why I'm doing this at all is to get rid of that spell shield. That spell shield is just so annoying. Just get rid of that spell shield. So that if they have judgment or anything like that, I can frostbite. Which, yeah, then I, I guess I could have blocked the 2-2. Two -two. would have, yeah, it would have made that an 11-9 instead of a 10-10. Oh, this is greedy. I love it. No, go back to greed. <laughs> yes. No. Greed. Yeah, I love, yeah, that's why I, I want them to go greedy and then have concerted strikes and single combats. This still puts them to one. Mm. Alright, do I just frostbite both of them right now? So now they're at three. Ice Shard puts them to one. And then, you know, we'll have the Lissandra be able to make another Ice Shard. The ice shard's not greedy. It's just it, the succumbs. Do I do I ca do I cast succumb right now? Even though they're not using a fight spell, I should probably just use it. Like just save the trundle. I'm saying I should just okay this. All right, chat's just saying just okay this and just let both of these die. Even though they're they're my only good attackers now, they can just play a bunch of other blockers if they have like star shaping or anything. I, I feel like I'm supposed to save. One of Trundle or the other thing. Like, you know, I feel like I'm supposed to save Trundle. Servitude is beneath you. Loyalty is not Because we've already seen them play Guiding Touch. We can assume they have Star Shaping. You will do as I, command. I don't think this Ice Shard is just going to kill them. I but do love an audience. We'll still have... It does kill them. No fight spell, even. Wow. I was going to say, we'd still have the Frostbites. I don't know. I don't know about that. I, I wonder if I should... I kind of wanted to use one Frostbite card and keep the second. For a fight spell. You also get... Yeah, besides the... 
yeah, you get the epic. You also get the other like with the, with the prismatic rewards. You also get the um, essence along with them. That's the word I was looking for. All right, those are both getting mulliganed. Vine Draven. Hopefully, we have time for Preservarium. Looking for some thralls. We found a Lissandra that can put a thrall into play. That was a really good win. You know, we they had, um, you know, they had turn four Shivana, they had fight spells, and then turn seven Eclipse Dragon, turn eight Aurelian Soul. That was a good win. Dang, they, they're super aggro. Not good for me. Ooh, or is it good for me? Go and play Arena Battlecaster. Time for the main event. The thing is, like, we're only killing two things with this. <laughs> like, the, the Zonite Urchin was only one card, the House Spider was only one card. Like, they only spent one card on those four, you know, two cards total on those four units. So that's so this is a great hand for our opponent. Being able to do both like turn one, two bodies for one mana, turn two, two bodies for two mana, and then Draven on three. Very good hand. Ages pass, yet I remain. Alright, so perfect draw for us with the Avalanche last round. Another perfect draw with the Avalanche this round. Yuck. I hate the sump treasure though. I feel like I have to block some treasure. Brilliant. I have another Lissandra. I could hourglass, but I like getting the damage on the some treasure. Now we're cooking. Just dis what did they just discard? Biggest fan. And they're going whirling death. All right, I think I'll just entomb. No, we'll just hourglass. I don't know, entomb would have saved four life. So I want Draclorn in play, and I want Clockwork Curators. You know, we're not at the time where I can't play both of those. Um, I wouldn't mind Avalanching this round. I don't know. I don't really like any play. I think I'm just going to pass. I think we're okay with a pass back. Good draw. Because, what's up, Juven? I think Joven, like, I want to try to get, like, these elusives in with my avalanche. It is time for you to prove yourself, my warrior. I dare not serve any other, my lady. Axis, come and re Eat this! Maybe I should have just gone avalanche. Should have just gone avalanche. You cannot fight the cold. Yeah, so it doesn't level Vi, it does kill the Lissandra. Time for the money makers. Well, we gotta do that.
No. Probably have to avalanche right now to kill this Draven. Yeah, that Draven's too scary. I mean, I could play Trundle, but they can challenge Trundle. All right, so next round, we're going to have 9, 10, 11, 12 mana. Yeah, I need to play the character. with that only one card yeah I mean if it's another you know it could be another might Ooh, okay it's just a rummage good well I mean I guess I don't know that means they get two cards but it's something that doesn't kill me right like they can find two things that could possibly kill me we'll make the obvious blocks Okay, they're gonna just let it happen. I don't really know what the point is with, of attacking with the Draven was. Draven. I don't know why it just even it wasn't just fine, but we'll see. Maybe they weren't expecting this. This is looking good for us. Unfortunately, our trundle's not going to be leveled up, but, you know, if it was, we have five eight-cost things. Six. Six. Right, we have this one over here. Six eight-cost things. So that would have been great. Let's play the Preservarium. Block the trundle. That will do. Three and O oh for Turbo Thralls. Today's going really well. Lulu Fiora started four and O oh before getting cheesed out by Discard Burn, and now three and O oh with Turbo Thralls. All right, Thresh Nesses. Going to be a tough test. We got the turn one Frozen Thrall. Mulligan the others. Blighter Ravine could be really good. We'll have to see. It has high potential. But the rest of the hand's very slow. Succumb's gonna be... Could be important against a Nasus in the late game. And then obviously Clock Hand is for very late game. The desert! By my yeah, Preservationist has been looking really good for us, I agree. Kind of, yeah, like that, that, uh, yeah. Even maybe, uh, is it better than Talia? Yeah, I could, could kind of see it. Unfortunately, my hand, like I said, is very slow. Their hand, not so much. Attacking for eight on turn two, having four bodies on turn two. 
to deal with these decks with four bodies on turn two. Six bodies on turn three. much life left. So I think the Draclorn is the better play than the Preservationist right now, so we can just get a frozen, another Frozen Thrall going. Pretty good. Fortunately, do nothing on turn two and do nothing on turn three for me. Did not pay off. Preservationist plus Draclorn combo. Helping us out. So obviously if they ever draw an atrocity, we lose, but there's there's just no way to play around that. No real good use to, to, to try to play around that. Um, the real question is, do I play Preservationist before attacking? Or should I just attack? I think I just attack. Not with you. Considering, actually, let's see, because we can do three, four, five. Considering attacking with the Draclorn, that's vulnerable anyway. No. Alright, so yeah, we're gonna, gonna go Lissandra for another fearsome blocker. Shard is important for if they had like Blighted, Blighted Caretaker. Okay, so what's the worst that card could be? It can't be Atrocity. So I'm just thinking, can I actually cast Clock Hand? Because I, if I, I could play Clock Hand. I could just Ice Shard right now and kill these things so they can't challenge the Frost Guard. Maybe I just do that. Yeah, maybe I'll just do that first. Because I think it's it's clock clock hand would then create the two instant centuries for the frozen for this thing. Oh no! It was caretaker. Oh no! Why did I do that? Okay. All right. So 
back to not pa panicking. All right, caretaker challenges this thing, then they go challenge, challenge here. So all my fearsome blockers are gone. So I, all I have to do is just play one more fearsome blocker to block Nasus. So that can just be Trundle. And then this four is gonna kill me, but we have the troll chance, so we can still stay alive. Yeah, so we just have to play Trundle for another fearsome blocker, which it could just be preservationist, because right, like whatever I play is gonna be dying to the Nasus anyway. Um, so we could just have preservationist die instead of Trundle die. But I'm gonna go Trundle. Yeah, another Trundle. The trolls are going to war! At my command. Okay. I don't know why they didn't just attack. They have lethal right now, don't they? Like unless I have troll chant, which unless they knew that I had troll chant, they had lethal right there. Why would they not just try? That was crazy winning that game for how far behind we were early. We did Blighter Ravine, knock out a whole bunch of stuff, but we were so far behind early. Um, preservationist. We can't really say enough about that card. That advanced three rounds card has been so clutch. So a ZR with Noxus Shurima, that's going to be a very aggressive deck. I don't have time for these things in a bottle. Could have turn two Preservarium though. Like that, we, we could probably go like a turn two Preservarium. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think we do that. Ooh. Turn one thrall. This card has been the key. It's preservationist. Of course, the problem with playing this is that, you know, then I wouldn't be able to Avalanche the next round. I figured we'd still have the Lissandra, which would be a good blocker for the next round. Ages pass, yet I and, you know, we want to get this... You want to get your card draw in as soon as you can, so you have... You know, you'd rather draw two cards at the beginning of the game than draw two cards at the end of the game, because then you just have more options throughout the game. So, like, the earlier you have your card draw, the better. Yeah, the, the Preservationist has been the key. Ooh, that's gotta stay. We gotta hope they play something else. Play something. Play card. Play card, any card. Love it. Gotta love it. The greed. The greed. We'll take a five for one. No, you're right, Lissandra. I can't fight the cold. Get on out of here. Yeah. Chase what you want without mercy. My desert, my rules. Wow, what a preservationist. <laughs> what a card. Let's go. Five and O oh for Turbo Thralls. Are you kidding me? Turbo Thralls five and O. Oh? What? So there we go. How about this? So we had a four O with Lulu Fiora, but then we just got cheesed out by a super good discard burn hand, and you know, uh, you know, pretty poor hand for us. So we lost that game. But then, then coming back with a five O for Turbo Thralls. Wow. So I think I think that the kind of the key was not you know not playing preservationist and playing or sorry sorry not playing Talia pres, playing this preservationist instead preservationist was amazing, yeah this list was was really good I think that the person that had been you know playing this a bunch that that donated for it this was a uh, naked knight I think he, uh, you know he put together a really really nice list here for this turbo thralls, um, you know the the curator time you know even time in the bottle is doing its thing. But yeah, uh, I have to say I was really impressed with Preservationist, and then of course Preservationist plus Inquisitor, because you know we when you play Inquisitor and you get the eight 
Um, you know, the new frozen thrall that's at eight, you're like, man, that thing's never come, coming down here. But then you preservationist, you wait one turn, so it's at seven, you preservationist, now it's down to four, and now your inquisitor pops it immediately. Like, that's that's a really nice combination of cards there, but just preservationist in general was awesome for us. We had some t some timely avalanche draws, and av avalanche and blighted ravine were amazing against our opponents. We had a lot of opponents going wide, people really played greed you know played greedy into avalanche succumb to the cold was awesome this card frostbiting really saved us a few times i was very happy to have this card um and then you know 3x the clock hand at the top end you know it, it did its job we played the clock hand and boom let's get some extra eight eights because we always had more thralls like with having you know inquisitor succumb lissandra we weren't short on thralls and so clock hand was always bringing along an eight eight or two alongside with it and then of course trundle did a good job cleaning up the board and just you know being a good blocker and everything and being a good finisher yeah very good list here so as far as a you know a thrall deck goes for you know turbo thrall this is definitely the best one that i have seen so far uh really enjoyed it so that's turbo thralls with the surprising 5-0 in ranked those y'all watching later on youtube Hit that like button over there, and as always, leave those comments. If you try this deck out, let me know what you think. Um, hopefully it works as, as well for y'all <laughs> as it did for me today. But you know, like the Thralls, like, is this a, yes, it's the best deck of the day. It's a 5-0. Um, is, it, is it like a tier one deck? Probably not. You know, like it's still going to be pretty inconsistent. We had a lot of cards lined up for us. We had a couple of good top decks with the Avalanche um, and stuff like that. We had some ways that we could have lost some of those games where our opponent played a little different um but uh didn't happen you know things went our way we won all our games and so um i liked it it showed it's a powerful it's a powerful deck it has a powerful top end and if this is the kind of deck you want to play if you want to play um some 8-8 overwhelms as you know real fast and everything definitely give this a try all right but that's going to be it here for turbo thralls so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video